Hello there. Hello, my friends. This is going to be a very short video. I want to talk to you about what I went through to uh, get my cedula. Okay. As you know, when you come to Ecuador, you if you're going to stay, you're going to stay here, whether you stay here for uh, two years or four years or for the rest of your life, you have to get a visa. And after you get your visa, you have to get a cedula. That's your state ID. And uh, you get particular benefits, especially if you're over 65 years old, you get uh, massive benefits from being from having your cedula. You get discounts on uh, utilities, so you get discounts at the movie theater, you get discounts on food, you get all your sales tax back that you paid at the stores during the year. That's pretty substantial. Uh, so, you know, it's worth it to get it. You have to have it. You have to have it in order to get insurance. And you have to have insurance if you want to live here, health insurance. Well, I don't know about for sure about that. I don't know for sure if you have to have health insurance, but uh, why wouldn't you? <laughs> you, you? You need health insurance. Health insurance here is a lot cheaper than it is uh, through Obamacare uh, or even through Medicare in the United States. So, but that, anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. This is about getting the cedula. It's a very simple process. Once you get your visa, um, you go to if you're in Monta, you'll go to Waikil. The And the reason why you have to go there is because that is where the ministro, they call it, min, no, registry or registro civil. They say things a little backwards here, so but it's, so it's the, the civil registry. So it's where you go to register and get your cedula. It's in downtown Waikil. When you're in that area, it's very reminiscent to being in New York City. It's a very busy place. You will most likely need your, if you go through somebody like Gringo Visa, you go through uh, any attorney or any facilitator, most likely they'll have an appointment set up for you. <clears throat> or maybe they'll even have somebody there that can take you uh, by the hand and walk you through the process. Generally speaking, you go in, you get in line, you go in, and you you pay to get your reg your your cedula. It's five bucks. You pay at the window. They give you a ticket. You go into the next room, and you sit and wait for your number to be called. Then you sit down at a desk in front of a person. They will start the paperwork. They will look at your passport. Uh, they, you need to have your visa with you, but if you have an attorney, your attorney will probably have it with, with them. They will start the process of getting your cedula. You'll have to get your self fingerprinted right there, and then they'll take your picture. And it's as simple as that. They'll tell you when it'll be ready, about when it'll be ready. In my particular case, I was there at mid-morning and they said uh, to come back at 11.30 and see if it'll be available then or if I had to wait for till later in the day. I was lucky when I went back at 11.30, it was ready and I got it. I will show it to you. It is just like a little credit card, sort of like, you know, actually I should show it like that so I don't have to show you my number. You can see my happy face because they tell you they made me take my hat off, my glasses, and my sunglasses, and the mask, and everything. And they said, don't smile. They do not want to see you happy. And that's the back of it. But anyway, so it's a little card. It's like a little credit card. And then once you have this, and you come back to your home base, then you will want to go and get this laminated. Get it copied and laminated. Keep this at home you're safe. Because if you lose this, or if somebody takes it away from you, like if you lose your wallet or they rob you or anything can happen, you don't want to lose this. It's for the same reason that you don't carry your passport around with you. There are some places that you'll have to have your passport, but 
it's very, very far and few between. So that's really about all there is to it. It's a very simple process. If you hire an attorney to do your visa process, this should be included in, in the, the services that they will do for you, okay? Uh, you get your, your attorney should advise you on, you know, what type of visa you need, and then that would also help determine how soon you get your visa and how soon you get your cedula. So anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I reply to everybody that writes to me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, please. And if you want to subscribe, please feel free to do so. So from Monta, Ecuador, a beautiful day here in Monta today in the Manabi province. Thanks for watching.